let's go back when I was <laughs> when I was a student in high school and I took a profile, career profile. And where I scored well was in either sales or education. And I said never <laughs> to both. And then I had an aunt who was working with a migrant tutorial program and several uh, community members from the west side of St. Paul that uh, I knew and that knew me that would encourage me to, to seek uh, employment with the St. Paul School District being bilingual. My responsibility is when a student raises their hand, they raise their hand and that's all I see is the hand go up and if I can be of help, I go up to them. I make it known to the students right off the bat that if they need help, um, please feel free to come forward and ask, uh, especially being in a, in a motorized chair and that's not easy to get through the aisles, I'll ask them to come forward um, and uh, for the most part they do. Mr. Lozano is great to have in class. He provides uh, additional one-on-one -on -one support for uh, students that need the extra help. Uh, he scaffolds material for the students and then also offers uh, valuable interpreting for students. The people in the classrooms need to represent the demographics of this nation. And our students need to understand, need to see themselves reflected in those people that are teaching them. I run into students when I've been shopping and now they're adults and they have their own families and they'll always come up and they'll always tap me and do you remember me? Do you remember they used to help me in the classroom? And tell their kids, this guy used to help me in the classroom. I didn't, I didn't speak any English, I didn't know anything coming in and, and he helped me a lot. But they remember you. They don't remember your name but they remember the face and they remember the help that you gave.